obscurantist ec uh, economic uh, schools. So there's no such uh, distinction. And we're probably being pushed towards a situation where Putin will have to uh, revise that uh, the essential compromise underlying his government for the past dozen years or so, which is that the uh, it was since uh, since the New Year's Eve of 1999, I guess, that the oligarchs run the economy. Well, the oligarchs can't run the economy. And if you insist on giving the oligarchs the economy, then the entire thing comes down. So that's got to be avoided. Uh, and what these what these people want is uh, they want to find a way to overthrow, to use the ec the economic uh, difficulties now generated obviously by Prince Bandar. Bandar is the guy. Bandar is the thinking head of this two to three thousand tribe of degenerates calling itself the Saudi royal family. Bandar is the guy who says, pump, he says, pump, baby, pump, and flood the world with oil and smash Putin and smash Iran and smash Venezuela, certainly, in the process. Uh, and uh, Russia, I think, is not going to capitulate to that. And I don't think Iran either. Uh, Venezuela uh, is it, more difficult to defend, but I think they're going to make some efforts, although one of their efforts may well be to default. Now, let's look at that. Suppose Venezuela defaults, right? We were citing last week that we've got estimates, 90% pos uh, probability of default, 95% maybe now. Uh, well, what about it? So... Uh, that would bring down somebody in New York or London, I think. Last time around, as we mentioned, it was called Long-Term Capital Management of Connecticut, Derivatives Mongers. They blew, and Greenspan rushed in, and possibly thanks to the fact that we had former Federal Reserve officials on the board of Long-Term Capital Management, they got a quick Backdoor bailout, several billion, because that would have blown a considerable hole in the worldwide speculative edifice. But remember, 1998 is the dawn of the derivatives era, and we are now in the sultry, decadent afternoon of the derivatives, right? It's almost sunset for the derivatives, so something's got to happen with that. In Putin's press conference, he was asked by a journalist... Are you ready for a coup? What would you do if there's going to be a coup? Now, Putin has said in the past that he knows what a color revolution is and that he's going to fight a color revolution. Uh, this character, Navalny, right, this, this thug uh, is supposed to be the great hero of democracy. Well, this is, he's in the same class with Bel Hajj or, uh, or somebody like this. Uh, these are no heroes of democracy, right? You've got Limonov, the, ne the national Bolshevik, meaning, in effect, neo-Nazi, and Gary Kasparov, right? This is a, a completely unprincipled conjuries of adventurers and, uh, you know, narcissists, egomaniacs, what have you. So Putin is ready for that. And then he was asked, well, uh, you know, is, is there going to be a coup? And he said, well, you know, I, I live in the Kremlin, and it's well defended. Yeah, of course. The Kremlin is a fortress by definition. So if you're in the Kremlin and you can hold the Kremlin, then, uh, then that's, that's a, a whole lot. But you get the idea that in Moscow now, Golpe, Puch, Puch is being discussed. Uh, that is a very, very dangerous thing, right? Suppose we have an attempted coup against Putin, similar to the one we had in the spring of 2003. Remember back then when the Mad Dog Bush, the younger regime, and Cheney, they were getting ready to attack Iraq, but they wanted to guarantee their own oil supply by putting in a suitable puppet in Venezuela, and they tried a coup, and Chavez fought back from the coup, and he defeated them, and after that he was uh, not so pliable uh, for the entire rest of his time in office, uh, he knew who his enemies were. Imagine they try to overthrow Putin and it doesn't work. And Putin is left there, uh, having had an object lesson. I would say at that point, quite a few oligarchs will have to be taking the, um, what can we say, the Orient Express, or the, uh, they'll have to uh, abscond, right? They'll have to adroitly decamp. 
um, because otherwise it, it will not be a good time to be an oligarch in in Russia. All right. So, who's the next long-term capital management? And please, don't try a color revolution in Russia. It's doomed. Not even in Belarus could you do it, and in Russia even less. So, um, who, do, who do these people really think they are? Now, let's, let's uh, switch over to the... Uh, the, just the Ukraine for just a second. Pornoshenko. Here's Pornoshenko's Christmas gift to the world. The Ukrainian Rada, that infamous puppet parliament, right? There's There are two things you got to read. Lenin, what is the Ukrainian Rada? Stalin, what is the Ukrainian Rada? And it's not all that different. It's a, a, a tentacle of Western imperialism. So, Ukraine has repudiated its own previous non-aligned position. And we have this clique of fascists, quite frankly, right? Uh, the the uh, adventurers there in the, uh, in the government, um, they want to join NATO. <laughs> Are you crazy? What advantage is there for the American people to have an alliance with this bunch of bankrupt warmonger fascist adventurers remember alliances are supposed to be for reciprocal advantage right you want to have an alliance it means both countries get something out of it they otherwise wouldn't get what could the u.s get out of this except a pack of trouble and of course the fact that they have no in they have no stable government and the fact that they they have this uh territorial dispute means that they cannot be members of NATO. Not now, not ever. Nix. No NATO membership of the Ukrainian fascist clique. Back in a minute. The knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of 
filters can last for five to ten years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Results will vary from case to case. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are Jeeves. Welcome back to A World Crisis a Radio. Webster Tarpley here in Washington, D.C. So uh, the Ukrainian uh, fascist clique wants to become part of NATO. Uh, the American people, of course, say no. Now, let me also point out, though, we have some interesting um, developments here. There could be some glimmer of realism coming from the think tanks here, uh, and I'm looking at uh, an essay here by Michael E. O'Hanlon. We know him. He was anti-Iraq war, then he flipped and became pro-Iraq war. Uh, not exactly a profile in courage. This you can find on the Brookings Institution uh, website, and it's called uh, December 7th, 2014, Crafting a Win-Win-Win for Russia, Ukraine, and the West. And I'll cut through all of the... Uh, the color, the cover stories here. Uh, it, it, it's uh, originally in the uh, in the Washington Post. So he's got a bunch of conditions, but he's trying to um, have some element of realism. And the element of realism comes in that if you want to solve this Ukraine question, you've got to realize that Russia needs to have a sphere of influence, a sphere of influence, which simply means an area where hostile or potentially hostile foreign powers cannot set up puppet regimes. Just that simple. Uh, and that's uh, essentially what he, uh, what he talks about. Now, you'll remember that um, when we had the, uh, the crisis back in uh, the earlier part of this year, we had Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger came forward and said that there should not be a membership in NATO by Ukraine, given it's it's formally impossible, and there are lots of NATO countries that will block it. So thank God, we hope, uh, and and also that the proper solution for Ukraine, and I had this out even before Kissinger, <laughs> was Finlandization. In other words, Finland is an example of a country right on the border with Russia, Soviet Union then which became a puppet state of hostile forces. It became a puppet of Hitler. The Mannerheim government in Finland was a puppet of Hitler, and it was used to attack Russia, right? The siege of uh, St. Petersburg, of Leningrad. So uh, you can't have this. So the basic, the beginning of realism is that Ukraine 
will not become a member of NATO. So here's what O'Hanlon says about that. NATO would be unapologetically retained with its current membership, but because of the new security arrangement, it could eschew further enlargement and increasingly play only a 